Abort Life Living, a podcast about the life of a 20-something, the fuck-ups and learnings and real-life inspiration, how you can make the very most out of your 20s. And welcome to another episode. This episode is all about investing in yourself and how you can invest in yourself, in your life, and you can really try out new stuff in your 20s. Um, Investing in myself is not something I always allowed myself to do, but once I kind of started doing it, I really got hooked and I really started to see the benefits I could reap in both my life and my work and career. So this episode is dedicated to investing in yourself, how you can do that. Um, I talk about how I've invested in myself, in traveling experiences, in courses, books and all that jazz, especially also in my health yeah, so listen in to hear my experiences of what I've invested in, also some numbers on how much I've invested, how I kind of got over the fear of investing or this mindset of I always have to save money, um, how it pays off, like what benefits I saw in my life, and maybe give you some ideas and inspiration on how you can invest in your life as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. There's a little announcement at the end. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to share it with all your friends and family and uh, drop me a comment on Instagram under at Wash Life Living Podcast. And hop on over to iTunes and drop me a review if you haven't done that already. Big thanks to all of you listeners out there who have shared their love throughout these past months when it comes to the Quartz Life Living podcast. I truly, truly appreciate it. All right, that's it. Enjoy, guys. Hello and welcome to another episode. I'm very excited to be talking and chatting to you again and today I'm going to be talking about investing in yourself and just how much it can pay off especially in your 20s. I'm someone who has always well not always at some stage I decided to really start investing in myself in experiences throughout my 20s that wasn't always the case but once I started I just saw how much um, benefits that came with it because yeah your 20s are your selfish years it's the decade where you can basically still grow learn and try out a lot of stuff so I truly believe as you might have heard in the opening episodes of Course Life Living that your 20s is the time to try out everything to discover yourself and to invest both time and money in stuff um, you would like to do to figure out what you like to do and um, to grow and to truly find yourself in adulthood. So the first thing when I kind of brainstormed for this episode I thought of was um, what I invested in was my exchange semester abroad and traveling a lot while I went there. So I went on an exchange semester to Adelaide, Australia during my studies and before that I was already working part-time, kind of trying to save up a bit of money on the side, gather some experience. Um, If you're still studying, I highly recommend um, working on the side. You not only gather experience, you also have some money to put to the side to invest in things um, that I will be talking about here. But having some cash on the side, being a bit more self-sustaining as well, um, is very, very empowering and gives you a lot more opportunities. So I highly recommend um, working on the side if you are still a student. So I went to Adelaide, Australia, 
and I kind of actively decided for these six months to uh, first of all make the absolute most out of this time I kind of went over there obviously I live in Vienna in Austria Australia is halfway across the world it is so far away and at that time I thought to myself I'm not sure if I'm ever going to go to Australia again. So I really, really want to make the absolute most of my time there. So I was there for six months and I decided, okay, I'm actually not going to work while I'm there. I'm going to use the time where I'm not studying um, to travel because as you might know and have heard of, Australia is the most amazing country to travel to. I actually also ended up traveling to um, New Zealand, I did the North Island there and also Bali and um, yeah so that was the first big investment I guess that I made is um, and a lot of money was spent I have to say we were students we always try to watch our money when traveling but of course um, a lot of money was was spent during that time but honestly those experiences have lasted me my whole lifetime and that is something I will look back on yeah I think all of my life I went to the outback to central Australia I did endless road trips along the east coast I even jumped off a plane did a para parachute I think it's called <laughs> parachute jump um on the beach it was the most amazing experience ever um we also did canyoning um I don't know hiking biking diving snorkeling we did like a sailing trip uh, amongst the Whitsun on the islands I really really tried to, to do everything obviously to get good deals and as well but investing in traveling and experiences will honestly stay with you for a lifetime it made me extremely creative I was super motivated about life and work when I came back from Australia and I don't know it was just such a life-changing experience and any of you most of us millennials love traveling but will know that traveling is the one thing that truly opens your mind gets your creative juices flowing your experiences changes your whole perspective you grow as a person and you learn things about life that will stay with you forever so number one thing that I suggest investing in is traveling and uh, truly reaping all of it out of it if you have the chance um, to do something like an exchange semester abroad the second big thing when I really had a mental switch as to how much money to invest um, into experiences especially was a conference I went to in Berlin and this was the first time and I remember the year before I kind of thought about going but I ended up not going because it was too expensive but the following year I was like no this conference it was a digital nomad conference called DNX um, so it's in uh, Germany in Berlin and it's all about living a digital nomad lifestyle which I was always super interested in once I heard about it um, listen to my episode with Bettina Whitman who is a digital nomad or was at least um, to hear more about that lifestyle it's about working and traveling at the same time um, not that I do that fully now but it is, is definitely something I'm working towards to be able to do that if I want to and I think it's a very interesting phenomenon so I went um on my own to Berlin to this conference and honestly after that I I really realized just how much worth it is to surround yourself with like-minded people and to go something go to something like this I went there with not too much expectations I didn't know what ex what was expecting me there so there was basically I don't know six to eight keynotes uh, with speakers who basically shared their story of how they changed their life how they built up their businesses online uh, travel the world and all that jazz and just how much that impacted me like 
there was an internal shift I remember and I was like this was a life-changing conference although I'm not a digital nomad now just the whole mindset that people had there um, of what you life you can live and how you can create the life of your dreams and it's basically up to you and nobody else um it was life-changing um I'm not gonna lie I met so many inspiring people and just how open everybody was there and going there I went there on my own um because I don't know I just I was interested in this topic I knew nobody who was interested in this topic um and I decided hey let's go there and instantly met open-minded people had a chat and it's so weird so if there's anything you're interested in and you think you're the only person in your circle of friends or whatever um, invest in going to a conference or a place a retreat whatnot with people who have similar interests and boom you will be hit with a group of people who think the exact same way you do and you're like oh my god this is amazing (laughs) so that was my first and I think I invested about 300 euro probably 400 actually with travels and everything I got to see Berlin as well and see uh, a friend from Vienna so I kind of connected the two as well so I highly recommend doing that um just invest the money if you feel like in your gut that you really wanna wanna know more about this subject and you wanna meet like-minded people and honestly after that I was bit a little bit by the self-investment bug um but it's great I honestly think it has paid off in so many ways in my life the next thing I did actually was a html and css course which is basic programming for wordpress um to basically just up my skills uh, when it comes to uh, my blog and how to create that Um, I did that right here in Vienna Um, also invested I think 300 around 300 euro or something like that and that paid off because I could put it in my CV Um, it was something I could show to employers so investing money into into skills that will actually really be helpful for jobs or future jobs if you're wanting to get into a new area of work um really pays off because you can really show those skills in your job you can even maybe negotiate a higher salary you can get a position that you didn't think you could get beforehand so you can learn the skills invest a bit of money and time learn the skills outside of your work and maybe move up in your career so yeah I learned these basic skills I didn't go like full-on into programming also realized while doing it which is a good realization as well that it's not something I want to do like all the time I'm not super super into programming but having these basics and being able to do basic changes have a basic understanding of how a programming works has definitely been great um one thing that I've probably mentioned a couple of times on here and on my Instagram channel um, is I invested into an online meditation course which goes um, over the length of a month I'm doing it for the second time now um, for all of those German speaking listeners um, is Laura Melina Seiler's um, Rise Up and Shine University also cost around 300 euros uh, maybe a bit more can't remember um (laughs) but that's usually around the price I don't know I seem to be paying for stuff so first year I actually did online course for one month and I also booked the event which was kind of which um so the the course went on for a month and the event was on in Berlin again I freaking love Berlin because it's such an open-minded city and so much cool stuff happening there. So anytime I go back there, I'm super inspired. So we went, I did it together with my boyfriend. Um, I first decided to do it and then he said he would join in. And I love the fact that we're both open-minded and into personal development. And yeah, so I did that, went to the event. It was also life-changing event um 
And with these events, actually, I find that if you've done it once, you don't necessarily have to do the same one again. Um, but it was, yeah, it was so cool. It was also a bit weird. You have to be a bit open as well uh, when you go into these things because you might be in a situation you've never been to. Like we were received at the door and basically every team member of her team hugged us there was a lot of hugging in general at this event um but it's all about getting out of your comfort zone as well meeting like-minded people and being inspired there's something truly different about being there in person about experiencing the emotion in person and this group energy is just insane so we did like meditations together we even sang together um might sound a bit crazy but honestly it was it was so cool and this group dynamic of 500 people coming together to kind of celebrate yeah doing a a 30-day online course and and making significant changes in their lives at that stage I had just quit my job decided to move back to Vienna or I was just about to move back to Vienna it was a time of big big changes and yeah invest in in online courses maybe as well um but I do have to say there's a whole new dynamic as well into um going to offline events as well one thing I also invest more in, um, especially since I started my minimalist lifestyle, if you haven't listened to the episode, be sure to go back and listen into the minimalist episode. I am a minimalist, um, or at least I try my best to be. Um, but since moving into this um, area of lifestyle, I obviously not maybe not obviously but some things I just invest more in especially clothes and stuff I think it's also of course about getting older you might also have more financial means but it really pays off to invest more into your clothes into having two proper handbags or three that are made of leather that are going to last you a long time yeah clothes as well that are made of well-made that will last longer that won't break after washing it a couple of times or shrink um yeah stuff like that I also actually invest more in so I I really do consider that investing in myself as well without although still keeping a realistic kind of approach to it as well because you can get a bit lost in like just throwing out money and then calling it like I'm investing in myself yeah it also has something to do with work obviously um investing a bit more in your um outfits in the way you do look not to sound superficial I'm not superficial or anything but how you look and present yourself um let's be real people judge you within a snap second does matter but it also matters to you it makes a difference in how you feel in your own own skin how you you are confident um and stuff like that and obviously that will affect your work performance as well or your just yeah your everyday life so I do invest um, more in clothes and I also invest in a better hairdresser um, because I do really feel like it's worth the money and I benefit from having a good hairstyle for two or three months also books and audiobooks um, is something I definitely invest in although books is something you can also maybe buy secondhand audiobooks I get them on audible I absolutely love listening to audiobooks they are quite expensive actually um, because they're expensive in production Um, they can be anything from 10 to 15 to 25 euros something like that Um, but I have a couple actually or one in particular the alchemist um, which I listen to when I when I go to sleep um, or it helps me to go to sleep when I can't sleep Obviously, a lot of my audiobooks are also quite like full of knowledge and um, I use them for educating myself. So um, it doesn't have to be be something to do with work, but it can be something to do with work um, or just something that will basically 
help you lead a better life overall. Another thing that I think is definitely worth investing in is your health. If not actually the most important thing. So <laughs> if you're not healthy, if you're, yeah, if you're not healthy, like that is my number one priority, which I'm not perfect at keeping in actually, but more and more so like really realizing that your health, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything in your life you can't do anything so I think it's super super important to invest both time and money into your health um so first of all I try to eat as much organic as I can obviously it's way more expensive but um if you do invest more into organic foods and cook more at home I think it kind of balances out anyway and as I said if you don't have your health you don't have anything so I think it's definitely worth investing into organic food. Um, I also take um, supplements. So if you've listened to my morning and evening routines, you've heard me talking about supplements. I do switch them up and try out new things. Like now I'm taking iron and I think I will just keep t- taking iron because I definitely see a difference in my dark circles under my eyes. Also my just how fit I am like especially when I wake up in the morning um I also take evening primrose um which was recommended to me by my mom it's supposed to be very good for your hormones and your skin I also take um collagen sometimes which is fantastic for your skin like it's so amazing um what else do I take I used to take CBD, but right now we ran out, so I'm not taking it. Um, cannabis oil drops, which are don't make you high or anything, but they help you to go to sleep. Um, investing in supplements, which can be very, very expensive, I do have to say. But um, you do have to just try out. And if you're suffering with one specific thing, do try one thing out, see if that works. If not, yeah. But I do... I do personally, some people are of the opinion you should get everything from your food. Um, yeah, maybe, but uh, others say that you sh- you would have to eat like so much to get that amount. And I honestly do see the benefits from using supplements. I think right now that was it. I mean, there's there's obviously some other stuff, things like... I invested quite a bit of money into my phone, actually. People always compliment me on my camera. And your phone is something you use every single day. So anything you use every single day and just makes your life easier, I think is also kind of investing in yourself. Because, yeah, you're basically just giving yourself an easier life. Um, I think I could go on and on for days, but um, that's it. For now, I think those were the most important bits that I want to get across. Um, I think investing in yourself is incredibly, incredibly important. Um, If you don't invest in any other financial way, I think the number one thing to do is to invest in yourself. And it's the one thing that I have been doing throughout these years, although I haven't been huge on investing in stocks and all that jazz. Um... And it truly does pay off. Um, So if there's anything that you've been wanting to invest in for too long, please go ahead and do that. I'm considering investing in some other trainings as well. Maybe doing a coaching training. I've always wanted to be a dance teacher on the side for some reason, especially when I was growing up. Um, so maybe that's something I will invest in in the future obviously some conferences where I know that they will definitely pay off for me Um, online courses all that jazz and continue to invest in books and audiobooks and all that I will finish off this episode like I always do Um, what I'd like to tell my 20 year old self when it comes to investing in yourself is the following Go to that event that you've been eyeing for for one or two years. Go meet people that are like-minded. Take the money and invest it in yourself because it truly does pay off. 
not only invest your money, but invest your time in continuing to grow and learn in your 20s because this is the time where you can be selfish. You don't have as many responsibilities. It's the time where you can find yourself, you can try out things, you can travel the world. So invest your time and your money in continuing to grow and learn. Experience trumps a new handbag. It is worth a lot more to invest in your experiences, growing and learning than uh, superficial goods. So adapt the minimalist lifestyle. Do invest in some things that make your life easier or better, but truly reflect on what it means to invest in yourself and what you want and how it will pay off for you in the future. All right, guys, that was it from me when it comes to investing in yourself. I hope I gave you some inspiration how you can maybe invest in yourself, um, maybe also use it to get ahead in your career, in your life, grow on a personal level. Um, I really enjoyed this episode and all of the episodes I've done so far. I have a little announcement to make. I'm actually taking a seasonal break from Quartz Life Living podcast or we're taking a break um, so there won't be any episodes after the next one which is an interview episode um, during the summer months so we will be back in August or September I'm not sure when exactly but I will be sure to let you know be sure to pop on over to Instagram and follow me if you're not following me already and I will keep you up to date on everything at quarter life living podcast um thank you so much for listening um from the beginning if you have been listening from the beginning i truly truly value every single one of you listeners out there and anyone that i meet that says i've listened to your podcast it's amazing and um yeah, I'm just very, very grateful for this opportunity, but it's time to take a bit of a step back for me to come up with new ideas, new content for you guys, so I can deliver the very best quality. If you haven't listened to all of the episodes yet, go back and do it um, during the summer months when you're lying on the beach or you're on the plane. Um, share it with all your friends and family. Um, and be sure to leave a review in the iTunes store if you're listening on iTunes. All right, that's everything from me. Lots of love from Olivia. And I shall be chatting to you sometime soon, but not as soon as usual. Bye, guys.